So what you have seen before is only a preview of what you will see and what we will be presented today. So konnichiwa, I am Bling Aizel Manuba from Baels TV. So let me introduce to you shortly um, the storytelling presentation of our section. So our section was divided into four groups by Sensei Randy Noblesa. So there are four stories to be presented. So the first group um, to gather story about the natural heritage. So their story was entitled The Legend of Paco. Group 2 their story was entitled uh, Balwarte Built During the Spanish Period. Group 3 a Movable Heritage. So their story was entitled The Story of an Enchanted Cow in Santa Cruz, Marinduque. While Group 4 is about uh, the intangible cultural heritage so their story was entitled uh, uh, the legend of bila bila festival uh, here we go let's begin the storytelling presentation of group one two three and four of baels 3b Indigenous people, particularly from those living along mountain ranges of the province, Paco, who know today, came out from tiny roots and resembled generosity and abundance from an enchantress of a deep green forest of Marinduque. Nomad people are known as people who transfer from one place to another in order to seek and outside places to be a shelter and to provide food for survival. They would go to a place and then have several attempts of search for a possible place to dwell. They would look for a home continuously visiting from green forests with sweet chirping of birds and brushing of cold breeze to green deep forest to settle in. Until one day, the world experiences sudden drought which have made the Asian people's survival endangered. An insurable search for places to be lived in during the drought was impossible. Now, the leaves are starting to fall. Its greenery turns into burning orange like color. The water of lakes and the brooks in the forest are slowly drying due to the raging sunlight. Also, animals die in tears in strong heat. With the passing lands of drought, people are suffering from extreme famish tears and how it make them flee the sky and earth. Oh, hear us, let's make a dream, cried by the moment. In a sudden, a lightning strikes, a glimpse of hope for rain is shown by the eyes of people. But, in their dismay, an enchantress appears right in front of their eyes. But to their surprise, the enchantress willingly helps them with intrinsic needs. The enchantress struts to spell and procures the wooden table of fruits, grains, and vegetables. The rain finally comes, said by the people. The forest seems rising from death, where the birds are chirping in homes. The animals, scratches, trees, and plants are green that made the forest alive again. Most importantly, sick people are healed, and all people are screaming, celebrating, and thinking to women. From the day, people begin to ask help from the women whenever they need. Sadly, Nomads are no longer working the way they had been before the enchantress came. Everything is asked and not worked for. 
which made the enchantress mad one cross. The next morning, the enchantress was never seen from the deep forest. Eventually, the harboring grows until the next three days, which people believe to be a symbolic to the fury and sadness of the enchantress. People went back and searched for her in the sunless forest, but she's never to be found again. Thus, people observe a tiny root growing in the soil but ignore and shrug it off. Asian people would go back to the forest each day hoping to see the woman but only to watch tiny roots grow into a plant with large delicate leaves that pierce the flower. Left with a non bearing flower plant, people assume it to be a single left by the enchantress, the plant which observably grows during rainy days, this light when the enchantress came was used by the ancient people for moon healing and food. From then, the plant resembles the abundance and generosity gifted to them by the enchantress. The Baluarte built during the Spanish period. A well-preserved heritage is one of the known heritage in the province. Its surroundings are concrete roads and many houses can also be seen around it nowadays. According to the history, there is no exact year as to when it was built. So it is assumed that it was built during the Spanish period in 700s to 1800s. This estimate is based on the year of construction of Jesuit churches in the Philippines. Based on the history confessed by Mr. Gregorio de Luna, born in the 10th day of May 1987, this was built to serve as a watch over It has two wooden doors, one facing the former port and the second door is on the other side. From here, the guards could see if there were any ships coming, especially if they were moros and warn the people by ringing the church bell. According to personal interviews, in ancient times it was said that there was a staircase down It also became the headquarters of the police or Philippine Constabulary during the martial law era. It has also become the office of the local agency of the fishermen because it is close to the former port. <laughs> The story of Enchanted Cow in Santa Cruz Marinduque came from the documentary film by Antonio the Adventurer. Um, this story was told to him by his friend Mike. So, from Santa Cruz. Uh, so, let me tell to you um, again the story of an Enchanted Cow in Santa Cruz Marinduque. Long time ago, there was an old woman named Eon, who allegedly saw the golden cow in the mountain located in Santa Cruz Marinduque, but it rarely happens. When the old woman frequently hears moving sound from the top of the mountain, she started to wonder, 
because all the cows there are herded on the bottom side of the mountain. There's no cow there on the top. Why well, I'm hearing a mowing cow there! One night, the moon was full and bright. Young bravely decided to see what was lurking and where the moving sound came from. She went and climbed the mountain. A while ago, she witnessed a glowing cow at the flat center of the mountain. What is that bright and shining thing? Whoa! It's a golden cow! Young challenged the cow. While she was walking to see the cow closely, the cow started to poop. From its butt, glowing faces started to unravel. The old woman Young waited for the cow to finish without any act of greediness and haste before she went closely to collect the golden faces. She slowly walked and gathered the glowing faces and she confirmed that it's really made up of gold. She can't believe on what she had witnessed. This is incredible. With this gold, I will be able to buy food for myself and for my neighbors. This can help many people. She took all the golden faces to her home and decided to keep it a secret. Yang's life instantly changed because of what she had discovered. She became rich and used all her money benevolently. She helped the needy and gave them food to eat. Whenever she received gold from the golden cow, she made sure to use it selflessly. One day, the people started to wonder about the instant success and richness of the old woman, Yang. They asked Yang about it and she responds and told him about the story of the golden cow and how it helped her to achieve what she have right now. My luck and success came from the golden cow there on that mountain. People doubted her story and accused her of being mentally ill person. <laughs> what? A golden cow? Oh, <laughs> she's insane. Yang didn't know there was a person who eavesdrops on her story and he decided to hunt the golden cow. One night, they all heard a moving from the top of the mountain, but no one dares to check it if there's really a golden cow. Several days had passed and the person who heard about Yang's story finally had a chance to capture the golden cow. It was full moon and drizzling night. He went on the mountain. He waited for so long and endured the coldness of the night and itchiness because of the insects. He hid under the tall grass and saw the golden cow defecating. And he was then to saw the golden faces it was releasing. He was overcome with his thoughts of using the gold for greed and only for himself. This is jackpot. The money from that hold will be perfect for gambling. I will also buy plenty of liquors. I will drown myself. Ha 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 ha. When he came closer to the golden cow and picked the gold, he exclaimed, This speaks for money. But he felt warm and actual faces is on his hands. Wait, what happened to my gold? Why did it become a real poop? He was very disappointed and he went home angry and empty-handed. He didn't know that the golden cow from Santa Cruz is believed only favors who those who have pure hearts and good intentions, while greedy ones are denied to benefit from it.
Once upon a time, there was a lovely lady named Bella who resembled a goddess and lived on a nearby mountain in Buak. She has a lovely little fine companion with two large wings. They were both happy when they were together. They go to the mountain every day to play. Bella's touch causes all flowering plants to blossom and all trees to yield fruit. Both of them breathe life into their surroundings. Bella is frequently invited to be the queen of the town's festivals and fiestas. There is a myth spreading in the town that Bella's pet is responsible for her beauty and all of her powers in making plants grow and bloom. Bella was invited to be the queen of the Buak Town Festa, the province's largest fiesta. However, there is a witch who is bothered about her fame. The witch ordered her follower to kill her pet the day before the fiesta. On the day that the fiesta was held, Bella was not able to show up. It turns out that her pet have been killed. Ever since that day, she is always seen crying by the town's people. And also, they noticed that their surroundings became dull and almost lifeless since then. Bella died later as a result of her grief after losing the pet which means so much more to her. Because of what happened, the townspeople felt so enraged that they decided to get rid of the witch, which is the cause why all of these things have happened. They decided to bury Bella's body on the top of the hill, where beautiful flower and green grasses grow, believing that her spirit would be happy. Many people went to her burial, Walking up the hill, which when viewed from a distance, looks like a parade. While walking, they noticed an insect flying with the same wing like Bella. People were amazed when the same insects appeared, wearing their colorful wings. They scattered around like joining the parade. When they reached the hill, everyone prayed for her soul and buried her on the ground. The insects surrounded her grave as if guarding her and mourning for her loss. A moment later, they fly around the hill. Some went to the flowers and the others stayed on the tall grasses. The surroundings became colorful once more. Many people say that this is Bella's way of thanking everyone and her spirit is at peace. Bella was the name given to the lovely flying tiny pet from the nun, later changing to Bila Bila. That is how Marinduque came to be known as the Philippines butterfly capital. To honor Bella, the Bila Bila event was held during the town fiesta. People who attended the event dress up in bright costumes such as butterfly wings and others even dress up as flowers.